due to the heroics of Armlock's peace spread throughout the galaxy. Upset that his evil douchebag friends were exposed and destroyed by Armlock, Game Time attempted to secure his position as Supreme High Douchebag Chancellor. Threatened by the superiority and dominance of Armlocks, Game Time accused the hero of only shooting him in the back and made several sad attempts of mockery. Warned that his lies and bullshit would be his undoing, Game Time continued. This video will show the fall of Game Time and expose his false claim. Watch as the hero Armlock restores balance to Call of Duty and peace to the Gout. What's up friends? Today we have another trash talker among us. Now I was in this game and it wasn't any game that was any different than any other game. There's nothing that stands out particular about the gameplay other than, you know, I, I did okay. But after the game, this guy, his name is Game Time. At least I assume that's what he's trying to say. His gamer tag is G-X-M-E. T-I-M-E. -E. So I'm assuming that it's game time. But anyway, after the match, this is what he sent me. He says, you play for KD in 2017 still? Damn. And I responded by saying, if killing everything I come across is playing for KD, then yep, sure do. Now, I was a little bit confused by this. I'm not, I wasn't really sure what he meant, but then he followed it up with this. Yet never once did I see you running around, but I did gun you every time you didn't shoot me in the back. I say, oh, I'm glad you feel that way. Luckily, I recorded the gameplay. Look up Armlocks on YouTube, and I'll be happy to show you otherwise. I'll try to upload it this week. Now, you guys already see the writing on the wall here. You know that it's not my play style to just stay in one spot. You guys know I'm pretty mobile, but nonetheless, this is what he responds. He responds with, I'll be sure to give it a strike. You don't have my permission to upload it. I laugh and say, I don't need your permission as it doesn't violate any rules. Be my guest. Now, my first question is, why would you want to give it a strike? I mean, you would think that I'm just, if what you're saying is true, then my video is only going to make me look like a dummy. This guy clearly knows he's full of crap, clearly knows that I got the better of him and it frustrated him for whatever reason he wanted to reach out and, um, I don't know, I guess be a douche about it. So anyway, the conversation continues. He says, you only have 240, ha. Huh? 240 subs, ha. Huh? Okay, so by this time, he's obviously already looked at my YouTube channel and, you know, he wants to take jabs or whatever on that. And I, I quickly come back. I said, well, if you'd sub, that'd give me 241, right? So don't just be a complainer, man. If, if you're unhappy with something, try to do something about it, man. Take some initiative, brother. <laughs> right? But anyway, this conversation goes on. So he takes this moment to brag that he's got 400, and that was by making NHL videos and he tells me that I look like a special GSP look like. The GSP that he's referring to is St. George Pierre. He's a UFC fighter. And I, people did actually used to tell me that I did look like him, but that was actually when I was in shape. So anyway, I say, well, congrats and milk dip cookies to you, my friend. However, I only do YouTube for fun and focus on Call of Duty. Plus, haven't been at it very long, okay? So I must have really got under his skin because he continues to say, T. Martin wannabe, fidget spinners and cod. Oh my God, such news. And then says, arm locks rolling with a kid after class. Nothing odd or creepy about that. Um, so I guess he's looking at my videos, my older videos. Some include uh, some jujitsu. A lot of you guys know I'm a Gracie jujitsu instructor. So um, the only thing odd or creepy is the fact that you're thinking it's odd and creepy. Like, who looks at martial arts or a martial arts instructor or something like that? Who, somebody that takes it there, just they're not right in the head, right? But anyway, he's grasping at straws, trying to get underneath my skin. And I say, laugh out loud, you clearly didn't watch the video. You should, though, because the gameplay is the same map I just owned you on. Might help you a bit for the next time. <laughs> so I take a little bit of jab myself, and um, yeah, you'll see what happens next. So now the excuses start rolling out. I haven't played IW in a month. You think I worry about this shit game? What would I learn from a pub player? What variant to use? If I want to know something, I'll go play comp. Well, let me tell you something. He's definitely not good enough to play comp, okay? Uh, if he's getting owned by me, then that's a pretty good sign that, hey, you're not ready yet, bro. But, I, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's a game. We should all be playing for fun. Anyway, we shouldn't be taking it that serious. But anyway, I respond, ah, of course. I didn't get the impression you played often anyway, judging by your performance. But it doesn't really matter. I'm sure you're much better at the hockey games. Good luck, and please look for your vid. Don't worry, though, not too many people will see it. Well, of course not. Well, at least no more than however many subs I have, right, guys? So anyway, uh, that's pretty much the story that took place. Um, you know, 
I get messages like this from time to time. I don't always respond. In fact, usually I ignore it. But just for the purpose of entertainment, every now and then I just like to call someone out and make a video on it. And uh, I think I think it's pretty funny a lot of times. So hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. I think it's important to note that I the conversation that took place that you guys just saw happened after this game right here, okay? And the accusations are that... Um, he never saw me running around, so it was implying that I'm camping and also that I the only time I ever killed him was when I shot him in the back, which I really don't know why that's a big deal because if I shot you in the back, that means you're positioned poorly or you weren't paying attention. So, you know, I don't I shouldn't have to wait until our eyes meet, you acknowledge me, and then just say go and then I shoot you. It's just not how it works. So I don't I don't know why he's complaining. But uh, anyway, the case is was you know, either I'm camping or I'm shooting him in the back. That's what he's upset about. Both you're going to see are debunked. I think you already can tell that there's no way I'm camping. And here's why, too. Because this is one of the games where, for some reason, the lobby didn't fill. And so my team was basically just racing each other for kills. I mean, we're, we'd go from one end of the map, get some kills, go to the other end of the map, which gives them the, the advantage because we're running directly at them, right? We're trying so hard to find them that um, we're leaving ourselves a little bit more vulnerable because we're running out in the open, okay? So... Um, nothing too special to report right here. Um, and again, I don't, I'm mean, it's not like I'm looking for this guy because, you know, he didn't talk trash till a after this game. So I don't even know to look for him or to play any different than I'm do any other time. So yeah, um, let's get into it here. There's the boy right there. Looks like, uh, oh, he killed somebody. There he is right there. Nice rewind. I was over there somewhere. He might have ran. There he goes. Right there. Boom. Okay. So he rewound. I killed him. Laid him down. That was, actually, what, that was a heads up gunfight. That was face to face, bro. So again, debunked. But let's just go on. And I don't think he's a bad player by any by any means. But certainly, what he's saying just it isn't true. So, um, and he knew it wasn't true because he even threatened to give my video a strike. Who does that? Why would you threaten to strike my video unless you know that you're lying? That's the only problem here, fellas. The yeah, only yeah, problem. Don't know that, bro. Why can't you just, um, you, you know, enjoy the game? Even when you get beat, say, you know what? Good play. Oh, there's a heads up gunfight right there. Laid him down. That was him. Okay, clearly, I actually killed him on the opposite, opposite side of the map that I killed him the last time. So, yeah. There, you saw me running around, bro. <laughs> and I didn't shoot you in the back. I shot you right in the face. So you can already see where this is going to go. And actually, he, he kills me a few times too, I believe. But um, obviously, I believe I get the better of the exchanges there. Oh, hey, man. Oh, look at that message. <laughs> One of my uh, people that know me through the Exclusive Aces channel because every, a lot of people know that I frequent the Exclusive Ace. I'm a moderator on his Twitch channel. Uh, we went to COD XP together. So some people just recognize me just from being the Exclusive Aces friend. So that's cool. Always nice to see that support too coming from that side. And right here, I think I'm dealing with my son. In case you're wondering why I'm AFK for a second, I think my son's crawling all over me. It's very typical. Uh, when I play Call of Duty, my son wants to come over and sit on my lap. And so it's no big deal. I just have to get Barney going on the next screen. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm, letting, um, I'm trying to get Barney playing on my other monitor so he can sit on my lap while I play. So that's what I did right there. So, yeah, no big deal. So hopefully the action gets going. As you can see, you know, what am I, 8-1? and one? So I, I'm off to a good start here. I really wish this lobby would fill. I mean, when, when you're competing with your teammates to, like, find enemies, it's very, very hard to have a good game uh, because, again, it just throws everything off. Um, enemies tend to wait on you like he is right there. See, he was just waiting and pre-aiming right there, pretty much. He, he was sitting in the back of the map just chilling, and uh, us trying to find the enemies have to run towards people like that, leaving us wide open at a serious disadvantage. But no excuses, guys. No excuses. I know that, and I'm willing to run anyway. I mean, that's the risk you take when you, when you get into these kind of lobbies right here. So have to take those risks. So what? I got killed. Good for you. You know, life goes on. Okay. Clearing the rooms out here. And... Um, I really wish there was a little bit more action. There he is. There, I killed him again. Actually, he was distracted by my teammate, but nonetheless, I mean, that's got to piss him off, right? Because obvious, obviously he's irritated at me. He keeps seeing my name in the kill cam, you know, killing his. So, yeah, it's got to be pretty frustrating for him, I'm sure. 
But that's Call of Duty, my friend. You know, it's Call of Duty. I had to hit rewind here because I don't know what I'm doing. Guy ran right past me. Teammate laid him down. And, yeah, it's kind of rinse and repeat here. I'm trying to find the bad guys. Looking at my mini-map, always trying to see where the, the empty spaces are on the mini-map. That gives me a pretty good indication of where they're spawning at, what direction they're going to be coming from. I see that guy. Try to jump shot. He tries to run away. I pursue. I get his homie instead. Okay, there's someone downstairs. Take him out. Actually, the name is Envy of This Girl, so I took her out. Excuse me. <laughs> and I got killed. There you go. This is bad timing. Bad timing. Sometimes it doesn't matter how good you are at Call of Duty. If you have just the worst timing, you're going to you're gonna die. You know, you're going to get killed. It can be very frustrating. Sometimes that happens two, three times in a row where they just get lucky and uh, just, you know, the Call of Duty timing is not on your side. And you die. So we're halfway through this game here. I know this is a little bit slow as far as you know action or whatever okay so he's getting laid down in the back of the mat that's all he wants to do is sit in the back of the mat if anything he's camping and oh that was head to head right there did you guys see that look at that so definitely <laughs> oh i killed him two times in a row no man no wonder he sent me that message and both of those were face to face what is he talking about my friends Okay, this see. Oh, okay, now I took on more than I can chew right here. I got <laughs> I just ran into all of them back there and I uh, got laid down. But what is he talking about? This is why he threatened to strike my video because he's kind of full of poo poo. I'm sure his eyes are brown. I'm sure of it, or at least it's his favorite color. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's see what we can do here. I mean, we're, we're going to win this game. I, I want the victory. Oh, did he kill me? Yeah, he killed me. Now, if anything, he's just sitting in the, doing the same thing. Yeah, he's, he's sitting at the back corner of the map, and he's waiting for us to run up to him, and, you know, he's trying to get as many kills as he can. So, if anything, he's doing what he accused me of doing. Why, do, why doesn't he run around a little bit more? You know? I mean, I'm, I mean, that's just the way it is. Like, in Call of Duty, you have the freedom to play Call of Duty how you want. If you want to be a corner camper, you can be a corner camper. If you want to be a rusher, you can be a rusher. If you want to be a head glitcher, you can be a head glitcher. I know all these things going into it, so I prepare for everyone. I prepare for the campers you have to because there's definitely going to be campers. I prepare for the head glitchers because, well, it's Call of Duty and it's smart to be behind cover and a lot of people are going to utilize cover when they get in gunfights. I mean, this is common sense, my friends. You know, you can't get mad at. The second you get mad at this game, you start seeing your performance dwindle just a little bit. So important to keep your composure. So important. Now, here I am, you know, preaching on my high horse. Do, you know, do I ever get upset at this game? Yes, of course I do. You know, I have my moments. You know, I have my little, my little pouty moments. Oh, I laid him down again. And guys, my friends, did you see that? That was, again, face to face. Wow. This guy's... This guy's getting debunked. His theory is debunked, right? So, yeah, you know, I, I have my moments of rage, but honestly, I try to minimize that. I take deep breaths. I come to the realization that this is just a game. I'm playing for fun. And if I'm not having fun, I should walk away. You know? Of course, some of my friends that play with me from time to time, they hear me rage or if I'm having a bad moment, are like, oh, yeah, why don't you take your own advice, arm locks? <laughs> right now, like, I can hear Rockhead saying, oh, yeah, sure, mate. <laughs> you know? But, it, you know, I, I it's not that often, you know? And I certainly, it's not to the point to where I feel the need to, like, send someone else a message, right? I don't need to, like, send someone else a message and call them dirty names because I don't like their play style, you know? Not that big of a deal. So, all right. <laughs> Trying to heal up as I rush back out. For sure this guy's back here somewhere. Just got to figure out where. Okay, he must have pushed ahead. Oh, okay, so he popped reactive armor. I had to use my rewind to get the hell out of there and uh, stayed alive, right? Can't challenge that one. He's got reactive armor. That, you know, it's just not a good challenge for me, so... That's what I try to do. If someone uses their specialist, like reactive armor, or if someone rewinds on you, sometimes it's good to have your specialist on standby. Like for me, it's rewind or face shift. Those are the primary. Or, or um, um, I like afternoon camo now too a lot. So a lot of times, if someone tries to use trickery with their specialist, I counter by using trickery of my own. So just something to think about.
Especially when you come across reactive armor. You want to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> they pop that for a reason. They pop that because they intend on challenging you. Or staying alive. Whatever the case may be. So, yeah. That's it. That's it. So, I, I think I think you see my point. 21 and 5. You know, obviously, he went 35 and 22. Not the best game on his part. Yeah, you guys are outnumbered. And I'm not going to I'm not gonna sit here and, and try to say that you weren't. But certainly, sir, your theory was debunked. Okay? I wasn't camping. I was running around the entire time. And we had several face-to-face -face gunfights in which you lost, sir. So, GG. But nonetheless, you've been exposed, my friend. Game time. You've just been exposed by the locker of all arms. Arm lock.